again, we've dropped into pattern fasteners in the black country. Now, I say once again, we visited James and the team about two years ago, but just a bit of background. First of all, the company itself, James, started how long ago? Uh, 1981, the company started, and uh, I've, I've had it for four years now. Okay, and pattern fasteners, so you're making a high volume, standard sort of nuts and bolts, or? All non-standard, we don't do anything standard here. Um, everything is bespoke typically to customer drawings or samples. Okay. But when you say bespoke, it still is medium to large volumes? Yeah, typically yes. We, we do do some smaller volume stuff, uh, provided the commercials work, of course. Okay. Now, you bought the company four years ago. That's right. Had you ever worked a slider prior to that? Never. Ne okay. Never touched one. Right. So you've had a great, I mean, just looking around the machine shop, great relations, relationship with Citizen and Warren from Citizen. How many sliders have you got now? So we've got six sliding head machines, uh, and um, I think that's, well, six in three years, which is quite uh, a progression for okay, us. Okay, so the first four, you know, sort of, say, dipping your toe in second hand? That's right, yeah. And then two brand new ones, and what were they? Uh, so we, we had a, an L20 LFV, yep. uh, followed by an L32 LFV. Okay, uh, and rhetorical question here, how, how have they been? Yeah, very good, very pleased. Uh, they're fast machines, uh, very happy. Okay, so someone who's had zero, pretty much zero sliding head experience, I mean, you, you've got an engineering background, but zero sliding head experience, That's it's right. been relatively smooth? Uh, it's, it, I'd say it's been a, a, a certainly a steep learning curve, Okay. Um, but I've enjoyed every minute. Brilliant, okay, and great support from Warren and the team at Citizen, I'm assuming. That's right, yeah, very okay. good. Okay, now, that's a, a bit of background, but what have you gone and done? Uh, we've bought a B&E 51. Why? Well, a number of reasons. Uh, firstly, we've got bigger work our customers want us to do. Um, some of it we've been previously subcontracting that we're bringing in-house. Uh, we've got big work that we were doing on older machinery with multiple operations. So we felt we had enough work to bring a machine in and we felt that this was the right machine for the job. Okay, so just, just to clarify, the biggest diameter you had previously, 32 mil. 32 mil on CNC. Yeah. Uh, on the more manual machines, we could go larger. Okay. But this, I mean, this is a 51. It will go up to slightly larger if you go non-guide bush or in the in the chuck. Uh, so in a hydraulic chuck, yeah, yep. we can put billet work in there. Uh, right. I think 150 millimeter, I think, is the biggest. We said earlier, you've never worked a sliding head machine before. Have you worked a fixed head machine before? No. Right. So again, how's that been? Uh, well, we've had the machine a short time, yep. so uh, we're just getting to grips with how it all works, but we've got a great bunch of guys who work here and um, they've got to grips with it very quickly. Okay, now with, the, with this fixed head machine, you're taking some of the work from the slider. I'm thinking the slider's going to be a lot faster though, is that not correct? I think it depends on the job. Right. Um, certainly when you're at the top end of the bar size for an L32 on, on harder materials, this machine being more powerful, um, it does seem to cope with those parts better, I would say. So um, bigger depths of cut than just bigger plow through it. Bigger depth of cut, more yep. power, and um, you know, just generally more suited to the bigger parts that are at that end of the scale for, for a sliding head machine. Okay, and actually in the, the machine envelope, how, how many turrets, how many spindles has it got? So two spindles, two turrets. Okay, and in terms of the actual machining, are you doing simultaneous machining, simultaneous turning, things like that? Yes, so working on the front with one turret, working on the back with the other. Um, we've also started doing pinch turning, which is something new to us. Right. Uh, so we're, we're getting to grips with the machine's features, and as we go along, we're, we're getting more capable. Okay, and all these different you know, um, ways of machining, so you pinch turning, you pinch milling, making you a lot more efficient, I'm assuming. I would say so, yes. Has it been, again, has that been an easy transition to actually take that on board and be able to do, do that type of machining? Um, I would say so. Yep. I, I mean, the, the guys that run the machine and program it uh, tell me that it's pretty easy and you know fairly straightforward to understand. Okay, so so that, that's all I need you, to hear. They haven't let you loose on it yet then? <laughs> Not me, no. They, they've kept me away from it so far. Okay. Now, controls are just looking around the machine shop. You've got, you, mm. you stay with the Mitsubishi. Why is that? Really continuity, so we've got six sliding head machines, they all work on Mitsubishi platform. I felt that that was important for us as an X move to a bigger machine. Yeah. Um, we've, we've really dropped on it straight away in terms of, of running it. And, you know, it, even myself coming to the machine and never used it before, you can instantly recognise many of the features. Right. 
James, in terms of machining, it is going to be slightly different because it is a fixed head machine. So in terms of components, just talk me through, you know, how that might have changed or what you can do now. Yeah, so uh, where before we've got components with big square heads on with lots of material removal, we're able to do that quicker, uh, particularly with the pinch turning. Uh, we've got larger diameter parts which would have taken us more operations to make previously. We're now doing those complete. Um, and what we didn't have before at all was really large components, what we see as really large, we could do that with a hydraulic chuck assembly. So essentially giving you a lot more flexibility and also making it more efficient. That's right, yeah. So overall Citizen, Syncom and Miano machines, you're happy with the whole the whole team support from Warren and the guys? Absolutely. Uh, Warren's been a great help and um, very pleased customer. Yeah. James, fantastic story. Thank you very much. Thank you.